Salmon Buck goes for a well played 43. 97 for three. So in Zamamul Haq, the Pakistan captain strides out to the crease with his team on 9 December 3. You'll want to forget the warm-up game that he had in Antigua in Zaman. Run out for a duck, playing in his 343rd One Day International. Only two men have played more One Day Internationals than in Zamanul Haq. And they are both from the Asian continent. Wazim Akram. 356, Sachin Tendulkar, 348. Well, Dwayne Bravo will make sure that he doesn't remember this one for too many good things, he hopes. Oh, good start by Inzaman, straight out of the middle of the bat. Such a good player, Inzaman Ulak. And here's the wicket. But reaching for that one and just, uh, just managing to slice it to backward point. Xavier Marshall diving forward and taking a good catch. Happy days are here again. Off the mark in the Mamul Hack. Last delivery of that Dwayne Bravo over, so he'll be on strike for the next over. It's 98 for three. Success in that over for the West Indies. Salmon, but he played well for his 43. Not getting near enough and reaching for that delivery wide of off stump. He's caught. Disappointment on his face. But he did a good job with the departure of Shade Afridi. Took just 63 balls to get those 43 runs, Salman, but nothing wrong with that as an opening batsman. Yunis Khan next, then Abdul Razak, Kamra Matmal. Pakistan will want a partnership from these two, though. Yosef Johanna and Inzimal will have their two most experienced, and one would have to say their two most accomplished batsmen. Another change in the bowling. Chris Gale now coming into the attack. Hasn't really been having the happiest of one day internationals with his bowling in recent times, Chris Gale. So he's taken a little bit more stick than he's he's used to in the last couple of games. But he'll be hoping to put it right here. Comfortable single. And Zaman Ulahak not one to waste energy. Just jogging down. by signal by umpire Eddie Nichols. Yes. Leg by bringing up this century. 100 for three in the 24th over.
lots of gaps all around just four fielders inside the circle Chris Gale concentrating around that middle and leg leg stone Scott five men on the onside and seems content to give up that single four runs out the over so far Very comfortable runs for Pakistan. It's 103 for three. The boundary is not coming as Pakistan would like, but the scoreboard ticking over. Singles are coming with relative ease. Still having a slip in place for Dwayne Bravo. Nothing wrong with that. Both batsmen recently arriving at the crease. And the recent arrival as well, Corey Collimore back on the field. Taped up on his right hand, as you can see. Coasting at the moment now, Pakistan in the Mamul Haq and Yusuf Yohana just trying to get a partnership together. Partnership together as far as runs are concerned, yes, but also overs. They want to spend quite a bit of time out there together. This is just the 25th over, halfway at the end of this. single lots of protection on that offside six fielders over there we showed you the dimensions of the ground earlier on it's a pretty big ground here at Arnosville it's been made a little bigger by the dampness of the outfield not many balls carrying out to the boundary. Important period now for the West Indies keep things under control set the Pakistanis back if they don't get a wicket and force them to take some chances a the misfield there from Chris Gale allowing the single <laughs> firmly driven by Johanna Gale should have been stopped. We'll see lots of those today. Five singles from the over. It's 108 for three.
Just nestled away by the seaside there, this field at Arnos Vale. And of course, with the airport to the right of screen, just out of view. One of the most accessible grounds if you are coming from another island. You just hop on the plane, land at the airport, walk to the ground at the end of the game, walk back to the airport and hop on another plane. And you're off. No need for hotels. Was that pad or was there a bat involved? Pad says Eddie Nichols. That's a good shot. Straight down the ground. Not too many fielders right behind most bowlers. And this was fairly predictable. Sooner or later, there's a man coming down the wicket to Chris Gale. Johanna, rather, and hitting straight. Pakistan is good players of spin bowling. It's on the move again. This will force Chris Gale to think about what he's doing. Both long on and long off are back, and there's a pretty big gap between the two. They are both wide, so anything straight down the ground over the bowler's head will go for four. And it's not a big spin of the ball, Chris Gale, so it's not going to influence the right-handed batsman to be dragging it too much to that wide long on. Bradshaw in the fielding and the man coming back for the second. Not a problem. Eight runs coming from that over. 116 for three. Ian Bradshaw slipping in that loose turf. <laughs> and losing it completely. <laughs> has animated these Carib girls here in St. Vincent as the ones we have seen before. That should be a wide. That was very wide. No problem there for Empire Shepherd. Picking that one up. And as we can see, not everybody is at the cricket. Uh, some people still do have to work, although today is a holiday, a public holiday. Fishermen know that they can't afford to take holidays. Important to keep the fish on their toes. Drinks are on you tonight, Bush. Two fielders just behind square there on the offside. One almost dead on square, the other one definitely behind the square. Trying to prevent Inzaman from just running anything outside the off stump down to third man. You have to get it pretty fine to get it clear of those two. Length very important here. Much 
more well conditioned Imzamam than we've seen in the past. Seems to have shed a little weight. Pakistan, of course, have a South African physical conditioner, and he seems to have made an impact on Inzi. Has been around a long time now, Inzi Mamul Haq, 35 years old. As we stated before, 343 won the internationals. Marshall doing the throwing and the single taking. happen from time to time hit straight to Xavier Marshall no, in, no intention of running by the batsman and that deflection off the stumps gives them an easy single I've heard people saying that that law should be changed I don't believe it why throw the ball if you're not gonna run the man out he has no chance he has a yard to get back in just short and that's why he's there End of the 27th over, 119 for three. Just two runs out the over.